And as promised yesterday, we are back with the Gun Next Divider. Um, the, if, in case you did not know, the difference between that and the uh, original Gundam X is mostly one of equipment. Its satellite cannon was destroyed, so it was refit with a new shield, which can also double as a booster on its backpack, a beam machine gun, and a new backpack with some propellant tanks as opposed to, of course, the satellite cannon. Um, got feed forward on that to keep from getting knocked around. Two treasure hunter modules because treasure hunter modules are great. I'm using uh, the uh, uh, machine gun EX. Uh, diffuse bullet is the basic level and freezing bullet is the high level, which does in fact stun. Um, I'm using wheel strikes slash strike stream, which is the uh, great sword uh, EX actions. They're have a little bit of trouble hitting a single target, but in a group they probably ought to do pretty well. Um, the two-handed, uh, yeah, it's using its two-handed sword, the uh, giant beam sword, basically. Beam machine gun, all the gun, all the gun mechs, all the parts are gun mechs parts except for the backpack and the shield. Um, before we go out, let me show you real quick what the uh, deal is with some of these. The divider shield has the cannon known as the uh, beam harmonica built in because it's a, got like nine barrels built in the middle of that shield. I don't know if you can see the seam, but it splits open at the middle to fire. You can see the like the backbone of the harmonica on the uh, other side. There's just a peg, but I'm pretty sure there should be a hand grip too so it can actually fire the thing forward. But, you know, not a big deal. And also, those things on the ends are thrusters. It can, like I said, it can attach, in the show at least, to the Gundam X's backpack to act as a booster. Um, skills, it has some kind of guard skill that I'm not quite sure about. Um, it's got thrusters. As I said, it gives you plus uh, 1,000 thruster capacity and plus 2% boost just for owning it. And break repair, so you get hit points back for breaking stuff. And yeah, the harmonica does about 18,000 damage at this level. Um, the backpack skills, yeah, like I was saying yesterday, it has energy pod, which actually provides both thruster capacity and mobile suit capacity, which is a nice thing to have. So, but yeah, you can see that rectangular slot in the backpack. That's where the harmonica plugs, a shield plugs into it. Uh, other skills, legs don't have any, arms have great sword mastery. Uh, this ha the torso, of course, has the flash system, which is what would ordinarily let it, I believe, both communicate with the satellite cannon and also what lets it control GX bits, which, of course, there aren't any of those in this game either. That would be a funny X action. But um, just for having it, I believe it's plus 1.4% uh, life. Uh, plus 1.09% option charge and 0.9% EX charge. Um, head skills, rifle mastery, which actually will not help us because it needs machine gun mastery. If you wanted to, uh, to uh, change it to that, you would just need, I believe, yeah, you just need a machine gun mastery converter and you could change that over, but... I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'll probably use the regular GX again. Um, the sh the machine gun uh, skills are parts out repair, so you get points back for knocking parts off of things. Hit repair, so you get uh, like a tenth of a percent back of, uh, of your hit points back just for uh, hitting things at all, which as fast as the machine gun hits is not a bad thing. And the last one is called blast weapon. Um, increased chance of parts out and I think that's damage plus 2%. I'm not sure. But I haven't leveled any of the skills up on this. I just didn't have the funds. So um, the skill on the greatsword is attacker weapon, which, uh, yeah, ups damage. I think it ups damage. And I'm not sure what the second one is. I'm sorry about that. One is damage and one might be hit points. But either way... Um, Either way, it's a pretty good mobile suit. It's not the best I have, of course, but it's fairly strong. Best I have like, has like half a million hit points now, I think. So, Okay, so for this, we can't do that. I'm sorry, we just can't. So what we're going to do is start in on the second level of uh, 
DLC stages. So this is the Master Grade Stargazer uh, mission. So it is a defense mission, so the eh, GX Divider should be up to that. I sure hope so. Otherwise, I may go do something else to just to, you know, have a successful mission for you guys. But I think it should manage. The, the hardest time I've had with it so far is balancing the various weapons, balancing when to use the harmonica, when to use the uh, the greatsword, when to use, you know, the machine gun, and which version of the machine gun, the regular machine gun, the EX action, etc. It's, you know, all the... The more options you have, the more complicated it gets to play, which, not necessarily bad news, but... Let's try slash stream on all these guys. Yeah, that works much better on a group. On a single target, it really isn't that great. Okay, and let's let's harmonica this one. Or almost die. Um could I fire my shield at you? Fairly strong, and it also it doesn't recharge super quick, but it does you get an awful lot of fire out of it before it needs to reach before it overheats. Which is not bad at all. Ah, there's another one. Harmonica. Yeah, I prefer something a little more damaging, but this is a fairly high ranked stage too, so you know, do not take the lack of lethal immediate lethal damage I'm getting out of this as an indicator of its quality. Let's see, so they've taken a tiny sliver off of the target. Nothing I can't deal with. I'm going to try and save Freezing Bullet for the for the for for an Elite. Because it is Stab. Because it is, it is effective. It does immobilize, so... But only at the second level. I've been told that the greatsword is really, well, great at knocking parts off of stuff. I haven't seen it myself too much, but I haven't used the greatsword, like, a lot, a lot, so. Gotcha. Now, there's one at that. I shoot you. Oh, did you guard it? Well, good for you. Try it now. Oops, I managed to overheat it, so... No, you do not get back at that. So, do we get an elite now? Or is that wave three or four? I can't remember. Shield's almost recharged, though, so that's... Ah, it's now. Um, first thing I'm going to do is... Take out these obnoxious turrets. By dancing at them, basically. Now, let's freezing bullet you. The other nice thing about freezing bullet... You can use it while you're moving. It is one... You, there aren't a lot of, of EX actions where you can choose the direction you're moving so completely as you can with that. It's nice. Oops, shield's still overheated, so I'll shoot you with, like, bullets instead of beams. Yeah, as you can see, the... The, shield, the machine gun is actually really good. Better than I expected. Which, I shouldn't be surprised, because it does require a special HCAD chip to make, so... You can stop that now. There we go. And I can heal us now. Bugs. Bugs are obnoxious. Here, here's my beams. Ideally. Freezing bullet for all of you. I think I honestly prefer the level 1 EX for Great Sword to the level 2. Which, I love that they changed the EX version of the EX setup in this game. It's a great way to do it. Giving you option, basically making the existing EX's level up so you have the option at any given moment of the 
stronger or weaker, weaker one. Really like that. Well, almost got one of the turrets before the, uh... That's Providence Gundam shows up. Legend Gundam has a split backpack with a few more, uh... Dragoons on it. Oh yeah, and you do have Vulcans as well. I may have caught it. Oh, I got killed. I should have been paying more attention to my health. Well, explosions. I don't think that means round over. Nope, sure doesn't, so let's get out up there. This may be one of the ones zero, and I tried the, uh... Tried the, uh... Exploding mobile suits on. Okay, so that worked pretty well. Oops, Leia got killed, but she'll be right back just as I was, so... So yeah, to get the most out of the Greatsword EX, it's not enough to just have the guard meter down. You kind of have to have to have them reeling. And at a pretty good close to medium range, so that they stay damaged, stunned on their feet. So, not the easiest thing to use, more Providence Gundam. Let's see if I can get the, uh... Didn't quite get his guard gauge down, but I managed to hit him with most of it, so... Okay, next is Legend Gundam... Let's Gaius, shall we? Shouldn't have used that, should have held it until I had his guard meter down, which should be right now. Yep. Yeah, so that's that's about the right range for the, uh... Okay, better use this, because I'll lose it otherwise. No effect, but, you know, I just hate not using an attack I have available like that. But yeah, so that, so, right here, right now, I just managed to figure out the best possible range for the, uh... Great, for the level 1 Greatsword EX. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's an optimal range for the level two. Should have gone with freezing uh, freezing bullet. Oh well. I'll go with it now. Interesting thing about freezing bullet is that it has a lock on animation, much the same as missiles do. So, oops, he was a little too far away and he got his guard back up. Okay, well, harmonica then. Got him. Got you. Yes, you can see my health, like, crawl back up. And it is a crawl, but it is back up when I hit things with the uh, machine gun. Let's see, does it do it with the slash, too? Yes! Does that charge? It does! I didn't know that! Okay, so the Great Swords triangle move... charges. Okay. Here's Stargazer. And we're going to freeze him. And Harmonica. Harmonica. Let's try Slash stream. Did do great. Did better than I expected, so I'll take it. Stab. Okay, you can... It looks like you can even jump when the machine gun EX action is in use. So yeah, that is a nice versatile attack. So keep that in mind. And I'm dead. Anybody? Thank you! Okay, well... Going to try and get your guard down so I can. Oh hell, let's use the sword attack now because I'll be able to use two of them in a row, hopefully.
And now let's Gaius. We're taking some hits, so. But no, it turns out the company that made this and Dragon Ball Xenoverse, it is actually headed up by, I don't know that he worked on this, but he did work on Xenoverse. It is headed up by the producer of the original Monster Hunter. And, you know, you can kind of see a lot of things that that game does here. Maybe not as well, but that's, you know, that's life. But, you know, the, the different weapon styles behaving very differently. The collecting of parts to improve you know, improve your gear, things like that, you know. I mean, all games end up cribbing from the best games, so a lot of Dynasty Warriors, a lot of Monster Hunter, and practically everything I play anymore. Let's see if he's close enough. Well, I wound up going with Slash Stream, but Slash Stream at least picked him up off the floor, so that was not unwelcome. But yeah, as you can see, the level 1 machine gun EX does not... Ow, I'm dead. Sorry, guys. Anybody want to help? Can you help? You helped. I appreciate your help. Caught him. Wasn't a great catch, but it was an acceptable one. Gotcha. Or, or did I get got? No, I got one of them. So now let's Gaios and go after the next one. Ow. Let's do this. And it, as you can... No, that was, that's right. That was my target lock. That was I thought I heard landmines, but no, there are no landmines here, thankfully. And kill shot. As you can see, one one issue with uh, you know, if I had actually done my machine gun ex and been invulnerable like I meant to be. Now, could I switch my target? Bye now. That just leaves one. Oops, I was in slash stream. I'd have had him if he was, uh, if it was just uh, the first one. Oh well, let's finish this quick. Okay. Anybody else got parts for me? Yes, from far away. Ah, huh, Master Grade Legend Gun parts. I didn't have all of those. Okay, so I didn't S-rank it, but the only thing for S-rank was a Saber Mastery Converter, so I ain't heartbroke. Um, Master Grade Goof and Stargazer Heads, I had those. Legend Gundam Arms are new. Two sets, so one, one was new and one wasn't. Uh, Legend Gundam Legs. And Destiny Gundam Backpack and Legend Gundam Backpack. Okay, um... Uh, some plastics I needed, one I sort of uh, need, one I didn't need at all. It's the most common one here, that's why I didn't need it. One of the carbons I'm almost back up to max on. Uh, carbon I've been maxed out on. Variable phase shift armor base M. Bazooka base M2. Gatling gun base M1. Saber base M2. Great sword base M2. Uh, Anti-ship sword MCAD chip, which a lot of different... Gundam Seed Destiny Swords fall into that. Um, I believe uh, Sword Impulse Gundam Swords, uh, some of the other ones too. Um, Rose and Zulu Shield HCAD Chip. I'm not sure if I ever made that or not. I'll have to check. Shield Base M1, Bazooka Mastery Converter, and Mastery Battery 2, which I actually have plenty of. Don't up my mastery more, uh, much. I need to do that more often. But that is going to do it for this weekend. We will be back soon with more Gun and Breaker 2. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun.